All right, this is the part five of the tutorial. Um, let's continue on uh, routing. So we cover uh, the theory of uh, routing in the previous lecture. Today we will going to to explore how to define a route and also how to uh, name a route. This is very important. So let's begin first of all by uh, how to define uh, a route. First of all, uh, let's uh, launching uh, the development server PHP Artisan. PHP Artisan um, serve. Okay, let's open our home page. So to define a route, uh, this is the basic uh, formula, how to define a route. So uh, let's open the file. Uh, as we can see in previous uh, lecture, uh, the routes are defined in, uh, in two separate uh, files. The first file, uh, the api.php is the uh, it is the uh, the route for uh, the, for our API, and uh, this one uh, web.php we define the route of our uh, web uh, project. Uh, so uh, why uh, this convention is taken by Laravel? So uh, this is due to to the nature of uh, every uh, uh, every kind of uh, response. For example, of uh, API, we, 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 get, uh, we will get a, a JSON response. It is uh, stateless, uh, don't, uh, so we don't need to remember anything uh, from session to session. So uh, um, uh, in the web uh, PHP, this is the web page, so uh, we need to save some sessions or some uh, cookies inside our uh, web uh, server. So uh, we have to keep track of uh, the state of every uh, request. So uh, for this, we have this uh, separation between two files. Uh, we will cover uh, in much detail the api.php after in coming lecture so uh, let's focus now how to define uh, a route um, first of all we will need uh, this uh, this class this class is taken from the namespace eliminate support facade uh, so to to remember this one is uh, is uh, in the vendor and the vendor uh, uh, after that laravel i think uh, framework src i think eliminate here uh, so eliminate uh, so eliminate here src eliminate src uh, illuminate so after that support facade support facade uh, after that uh, the root this one the class um, the root this one so as you can see here uh, we have all our uh, function this is the root class so we will use this class uh, this class root have uh, 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 many uh, static uh, function uh, so the basic uh, functions uh, for uh, this uh, root uh, we have uh, uh, the get here for example but what is this uh, get is represent uh, uh, HTTP uh, verb so for for you to know we have uh, uh, many P uh, HTTP verbs we have uh, the get to take the get verb to get some data uh, we have uh, also uh, we have the 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 post 
also we have the to the post to send some data and also we have, to modify some data we have to uh, the the put and patch and uh, finally we have the delete to delete some uh, resources so this this is the basic uh, HTTP verb uh, we will see in detail this uh, those verb and our roads uh, but for now uh, to, to know how to define just to define a route uh, let's see the, the get uh, after that the get uh, have two parameters the first parameters is uh, the, the URI the URI what is the URI the URI is uh, everything coming after uh, uh, after the main uh, domain of your site after this one for example uh, we have post and uh, id so everything coming after this uh, uh, main domain is uh, the uri so so the first parameter is the uri and the second parameter as you can see this is a uh, uh, action uh, this action we can put here action or controller uh, it means some some uh, some function from uh, a class uh, or in this case uh, as you can see this is an anonymous uh, function uh, so what's the role of this function the main role is uh, to return a response so for example this is the root the, the main root here the main root this one the main root here this is the main root this is a return our uh, our uh, home page so we can just uh, returning we just return uh, sample text uh, this is the home page so this uh, this action will return this response so we save and after that you see here so we saw in previous lecture how to define uh, those uh, root uh, for example we create uh, the contact page or or we create or create uh, this uh, post uh, slash one to to tell to laravel just give me the first uh, post the first number one post so uh, let's create uh, for example uh, another uh, uh, route we have get uh, let's naming slash gallery if you want to uh, to name uh, to create a, uh, a page for a gallery to show some to show some image so after that after the URI uh, we have uh, the second uh, parameter is the anonymous fu anonymous function that return uh, we will see after how to to return uh, uh, a whole uh, HTML page. So, but for now, uh, just to let you know, we can return any kind of uh, of data. So here, uh, this is a gallery page. So let's copy this one. Uh, Let's copy this one. After that, let's a slash gallery. Uh, what's here? Uh, ah, we close the so return. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the concept 
how to define uh, a root um, after we will see all the other verbs uh, how to get how to post to send from a form how to modify through uh, put and patch how to delete with the root uh, uh, delete we will see this uh, don't worry we will see this so for now um, we will see the uh, how to name a root so let me show you the problem here uh, okay okay i will list all uh, our uh, uh, root so php artisan i let you guess what's the what's the command let you list all your uh, routes yes root list so as you can see here the gallery is created the contact and the post um, here there is something very important the name uh, we will give a name to our root so why this uh, here the URI here is um, might be changed in the future so you need to uh, you need to precise another way to naming your roads for example uh, uh, those URI may be in the future you can uh, uh, for example you name it slider or uh, my image image is or something else in that uh, moment how to deal uh, you have to keep everything uh, qu uh, good and uh, referenced so uh, here you need to give uh, some name so how to give a name here so let's for example for this uh, home I will give a name for this route uh here name <coughs> so this home dot index i will name this one uh, home dot uh, con contact or laravel laravel dot index laravel dot uh, contact or you can name it page for example page index page uh, contact no matter this is uh, page post and this one page gallery okay uh, let's execute again uh, and you will see the difference here uh, we will e we'll execute again the command php artisan root list you see here the naming so we give a name to our uh, root uh, it's best practices to, to, to give a name to naming your roots so to recapitulate we we saw in this lecture how to define a root in first place it's very easy and uh, we we see also how to name uh, your root so uh, thank you for watching please uh, support me by a like or by subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you